This section right here, what we're going to be talking about is variables, what variables are and how we can use them. Now, this will be a simple introduction to variables. Simple. Very simple. We're not going to get into them real deep. We're not going to get into arrays and things like that. Just the basics of a variable, how you can use them, set them up, etc. Sound good, Logan? Enough, yeah. Enough. I always like to do that. Sound good, Kristen? Yes. I just like to say that. It sure does. I'm just tired. Okay, so um, variables. What are variables? Well, variable is a way of setting up a little bit of memory so that you can store information for later use. Okay, Logan, give us your description. <laughs> just an address, like what Buzz said, an address in memory to store stuff. Okay. Now, Adam, give us your description of a variable. Uh, it'd be like a container, maybe like a box that would be stored in memory that you could put stuff in. Okay. It's not an actual box, Antonio. <laughs> I know you're listening. <laughs> Let me out! <laughs> no! Oh, fill it up with water. Um, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> 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 just kidding. Oh man, I'm scared. <laughs> Kristen, give us your description of a variable. I guess you could say a purse. <laughs> you put stuff in it. Okay, and yeah. You can take it out. It's like a spray bottle. <laughs> and water's the data. <laughs> that works too. You just spray it all over the place and hope it comes together. <laughs> okay, a variable is a place that holds information, okay? Everybody's given a, uh, a pretty good description of it all in a <laughs> different way. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, let's just take a look at setting some up. First of all, when working with variables inside of PHP, we've got two types of variables that we will deal with, scalar and arrays. <laughs> right, Logan? Right. And what is a scalar Type variable, Kristen. It holds one thing. There you go. She was in the room. She heard. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was probably watching Adult Swim or something. <laughs> or playing video games. Yeah. Who knows? Halo. Adult uh, something or other. Hey, hey, hey. hey no. That's actually anime for those of you out there that don't know any different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do they do at the Buzz House? I don't like this. Okay, so um, so a scalar val value is a single piece of data that is held in a variable. Logan, what's an array? A list of values. A list of values. One variable that can hold lots of different values okay. of the same type. Very good. So um, in this particular section right here, we're not going to get into talking about arrays. We'll do that probably on the next VTM, I would think. Sounds good. But um, yeah, especially with some of the, the data returning and yeah, stuff like that. The, the bad thing is we're all just sitting here, and Logan and I are just shaking our heads at one another. Nobody can see what the heck's going on, but <laughs> that's okay. I keep nodding at the microphone. So, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing like that. So do you agree? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Of course, nobody saw me do that either. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> <le Could laughs> Sorry, I'm just mocking you. Go ahead. Can we pay you to go to sleep? No, I'm Please. not tired. Here, pull her cable over there. I there had my nap it. last section. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, that's a good point. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at setting up variables. First of all, when dealing with variables, there are three primary types of data that you're going to store. Okay, We have an integer. And I'll just use this little area right here kind of as a scratch pad. Well, actually, let's just we'll tab on over. Dollar sign, my variable equals. This is going to set up a variable in memory or a place in memory that I can store information is in. Excuse me. As Logan said a second ago, he said a memory address. Okay. But then he stopped himself and he said, yeah, basically what Buzz said. Well, this is exactly what we're doing. We're actually getting a little bit of memory in your computer that, of course, has a specific address that you would use to access that memory. And we're allotting it for us to store information in. This uh, dollar my variable right here is a user-friendly name so that you can gain access to it. Good enough? Sounds good. Okay. So by doing this right here, this is going to create the variable. And back to the three different uh, primary types of data that we can be storing. First of all, we can store an integer. What's an integer over there, Adam? Uh, that would just be a number. But or what kind of one. number? A whole number. A whole number. With decimals. 
What? <laughs> I don't know. No, that's a float, my friend. Uh, Kristen, take care of it for me, please. An int? Yeah. It's just the whole number. It's like five, six, seven, eight. You know what I said? No, you no, said you with said decimals. With no, decimals. I, I said a number, and you just looked at me stupid and looked at her. I was like, I heard decimal. Did you hear decimals? He said decimal. Yeah, but that decimal. was after you looked at me stupid. I was just throwing <laughs> stuff out there. You were with letters. <laughs> okay, so an int is any whole number starting at zero, going positive and negative. No decimals allowed. Okay, that's what I said. There are two ways that we can store the int. First of all, right now or integer, you're looking at dollar my variable equals five, and we can also store it as dollar my variable equals quote five quote. Which so will still treat that as an integer. Okay, I was going to say, does it yeah, make a this, difference? No, this could, it's going to act a little bit different. Some of the PHP books that you may go out and get in a bookstore, or if you get online you start reading through some of the tutorials, you'll see the variables when populated with integers or floats, which we'll talk about in a second, represent it two different ways, with these quotes and without. Me personally, I kind of like to go in there and do it without quotes, and you'll see why in just a second. So, you know what? Instead of calling this my variable, let's do this, my integer, okay? So then next type is dollar, we'll call it my float. A float. Tell me about it, Adam. What's a float, man? What's a float hold? You got this one, man. You got this oh, one. Oh, yeah, the number with the decimal. Oh, that's very, man, you are so good tonight. Yes. <laughs> Basically a float or a double, okay, also known, that you, we have data types of float and double. Don't worry about it. It's just basically how large the number is and how much memory and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're dealing with a number starting at zero, going positive and negative with decimals. Okay? Uh, so, Logan, did, were you going to say something? Nope. That's good. Okay. I thought, I'm sorry. I just, just corn keep, say, keep saying decimals till it works. I just saw him flip the mic like a, a Westerner with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for him to say something. The sharpshooter. So, um, so 55.63, uh, Terminator. This work for you, Logan? Yes. yes okay. Yes. So um, move on to the third primary type. We have my string. Okay, what does that do, Adam? Uh, in that alphanumeric, the letters and numbers. Very good. And um, we've got more than just alpha, uh, numbers and letters, don't we, uh, Logan? Just about anything that you can put in the ASCII jar set. There you go. Any the what? Character. The ASCII jar set? <laughs> ASCII the jar. jar set. Yeah, ASCII character set. Would that be like okay. symbols and stuff? Yep. Yes, yeah. it would. Very good. So um, inside this, now I'm going to put quotes around this, and let's just put the buzz. Okay? So here we are with a series of letters, a space, that are all being stored in this particular variable right here. Okay? So uh, are you feeling okay, Kristen? Yes. Okay. So what we've done is we have set up three different variables. We have assigned them user-friendly names that we can use to easily gain access to these variables. And we have stored information into them. Now, let's go ahead and see how we can put these things to use. Um, remember how earlier we were getting the date? Remember this guy right here? Let me go ahead and come in here, and I'm going to just cut that line out with Control-X. I'm going to come back up here and do dollar my date or we better yet let's do today's date equals boom all right logan i'm not specifying any particular type of variable each time i assign these different numbers in here okay some people out there that may be familiar with other programming languages are used to having to go in there and actually declare the variable by specifying it's going to hold this type of data. Yes, I'm used to that. Okay, tell me about this. Is this is this right here going to work just fine? Yes, it would. So tell me about it. Why, how does it know the difference between 5 and the buzz and 55.63 being all these different types we're talking about? Generally what it does is it really doesn't matter what you put into a variable once when you're first creating it. It really doesn't care. Uh, all it's, what's it really depends on what's in the variable when you start working with it. If you're just echoing out to the browser, that also doesn't matter. It'll echo a string or a number just the same. Once you start doing mathematical operations on stuff, that's when it depends whether or not it's uh, like an integer or a float because you can you can add two integers, but you can't really add two strings. Like you you can put them end to end, but that's concatenating. Okay. What PHP usually does is it tries to get the integer value of a variable. So if you assign it, like, um, if it had numbers in it, and those numbers could be used in, in a mathematic operation, it would use it as an integer or a float or whatever it was holding. If it had just letters, it, it wouldn't apply. It wouldn't be able to add it. Okay. But it would give you a number back, wouldn't it? 
Probably. It would probably give you zero. It, if you it tried does. To Very good. It. Gives you zero. Do you guys follow them? Oh, yeah. In other words, PHP is real loose. It's like easy. <laughs> it's like, throw it at me. I'll figure out what you want and do something. Oh, so that cool. it's loose or that it's smart? I would just call it loose. Okay. It's pretty smart. It just it figures out what you want to do. Okay. Okay, but compared to uh, some languages, people would definitely call this loose, where other languages have very strict rules that need to be followed when you're dealing with variables. Okay? So, um, so now I've got today's date being stored in dollar today's date. Now I can just come back down here where I was echoing out this actual function before, and I can now replace it with dollar today's date. And what's this going to do, Logan? Is it going to actually print out dollar today's date when it goes to echo all of this stuff out to your browser? No. First, it's not in quotes. Um, it's just it's just a value. It's that variable is referencing back. To it's it's going to put whatever was in that variable. Okay. It's not going to echo it out literally. Very good. So basically, when the parser goes through here and handles each line one by one, it gets down to this one. It sees this as saying, whoa, this is a variable. Okay, what data is being stored in this variable? And the area that's highlighted right now just simply gets replaced with what's inside that data, right? Right. That's or excuse me, what's inside and that if variable? If that was in quotes, would that print out? Okay, one technical thing: <laughs> if you use double quotes, it will print the the uh, value of the variable. If you use single quotes, it'll literally print out like dollar sign my variable. Okay, that's that's, what that's I want the way it works. Okay, but and for those of you out there sitting out there going, "Demo, single, huh?" We're going to get all into that in the second VTM. Again, we're trying to keep How this variable. <laughs> People are going to hear, <laughs> funk. <laughs> and then they won't hear Kristen no more. That just means she's no longer with us. She had to go to the restroom. Yeah. So, um, so you can see right here how I can actually print or echo information back out. I can do the same up here. Uh, let's say I want to, let's do dollar... First name equals Kristen, and let's go ahead and do last name equals, hmm. Don't give him my last name. I'm not going to give him your last name. Um, I was going to give him poop, but I decided we shouldn't do that either. Kristen Poop. Uh, <laughs> uh, poop. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now that we have these two things right here, right here where I'm echoing out her name, Okay, maybe I want to come in here and I want to echo out whatever was given to me in first name and in last name. Later on when we start actually getting into working with the database and PHP integration, okay, where PHP is talking to your database and pulling information out, it's very likely that you're going to end up having fields that are going to hold information such as a first name and a, another field that's going to hold information as a last name. And don't worry, we're going to talk about fields a little bit later on in this exact VTM here when we start talking about putting things together in a database. But anyways, uh, it's okay, I'm just hanging there. Right. So, um, so there will be times that you're going to need to pull this information out and put the two together so that it um, – so, you know, just for the <laughs> – stop it with the lizard. You're Sorry. freaking me out. So, anyways, there's going to there's be <laughs> – um, Yeah. <laughs> there's going to be times that you're going to need to put this information together in such a way that it's going to show back to a viewer the way you want it to be seen. In other words, first name, last name. So let's go ahead and do that here where I'm just going to come in here and say echo dollar first name. Now, I want to concatenate to the end of this dot dollar Last name, and some of you guys may already see what the problem with this is. I do, be. I do, I do, I do, I do. I will show it, and then we'll fix it. Dot, and now let's go ahead and tie in a br to it. Okay, so when I actually run this now, Adam, yes, what's it going to see? What's the browser going to get echoed out? What's going to get echoed out right here? Uh, well, it's going to first see first name, so it's going to go up and see Kristen. Okay, so put that out. Uh, this is going to try to concatenate poop onto the end of it. Okay. I guess it's going to say Kristen poop. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Like, as one word. Like one word. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And and so that's going to look kind of funny. But then it's going to do a, what is that, a line break? Yeah. And go down. Okay. So right now we should, we're looking for Kristen poop, line break. <laughs> <laughs> and then that just sounds cool. I know. you. Uh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's going to see, uh, do you know the date was, that we, ha we have no BR right here, so getting echoed right after this space, we're going to get today's date, or at least whatever is currently being stored in this variable right here. Let's go ahead and save this real quick and execute this. So I'll go ahead and minimize that, and we'll pull it back up, and let's just refresh it now. 
And there you go. Hi there, Chris and Poop. <laughs> All one word. It is now um, down to a new line. Did you know that the date was? And this is still printing out properly. We're, we're using a variable now to hold this highlighted information. It still prints out fine when we echo it back to our browser. Cool. Okay. So now to fix this little Chris and Poop problem, what do we need to do? Uh, well, you could put up, go back to the script. All right. So we'll hop back here into the script. Uh, here's the, here's our magical line. Well, you could, I don't know. Since I'm kind of lazy, I, do, I, do, I, do. I, oh, <laughs> I go up to where it says last name. But let's pretend this is what's being fed back to us from some other place. So we have to just deal with whatever is in here. Uh, uh, could you just throw in like a space? Yes. Maybe like so. Go ahead. Like what? Uh, the quotations. So I could quotes. do concatenate space quotes quotes, and then just keep on concatenating like that. So yeah. it's got first name. Add to the end of first name. A simple space. Add to the end of that space. Whatever's in the last name. Add to that. A line return. Oh, okay. Cool. Is that? Does that work for you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that'll do it. So I can go ahead, let's save it out, and we'll go ahead and come back into here and refresh it. And now we have Kristen Poop with a mm. space in her name. So now we actually can see her true first name and last name. Yeah, for those of you guys out there wondering, that really is her last name. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. But don't try to look her up because she's unlisted. I'm Mrs. Poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, uh, <laughs> so anyways, you see how we're concatenating stuff. Now let's go ahead and pull our script back up. Uh, we can also add things together, right, mathematical operations. Right. So I could – let's go and just come back in here and let's echo out. Uh, let's come over here and echo out. Um, let's see. My int, so dollar my, my integer plus dollar my float equals – all right. What's this line going to print right here, Logan? That is going, because you use the double quotes with variables, that is going to print out the uh, the integer pl plus the float, but it might error because it has the equal sign in there and nothing, uh, nothing assigning to it. Okay. So let's go ahead and come down here. Let's terminate this for the moment. Is that? And let's save this. What's that? Well, we'll also throw in a little BR in there as well. Let's save this. Tricky, huh? It's not just going to print that? Do what Where now? is it? Where is it? Right here. Oh, I get it now. What's oh, okay. happening? We're going to call on oh, Adam. It's just, it's just printing out the numbers that's stored in there. That's right. And it's not actually doing the mathematical It's operation. treating these numbers as a what, Logan? As a string. There you go. Okay, we threw it inside quotes. No, it is. Watch. It's, it's not actually adding them. No, I, I see it's treating it as a s string. I'm just kind of... I guess I get it. Because right, so you now threw it in quotes. It's looking at it like a string. So, so now, go ahead, Logan. As much as I've worked with PHP, I never realized it that way. So now let's go ahead. Now if I come in here and we close this out and we say concatenate to that, uh, would you say it's fair that I could do something like this, Logan? If I wanted to come in here and say dollar my integer plus dollar my float. And let's just kind of scroll things over a little bit. I know we're tight on space right here. What do you say this is going to give us? Now, that's just a straight mathematical operation. There's no strings involved in the stuff that's inside those parentheses. Okay. So it should kick out the integer plus the float this time. Okay. So it's still going to print out both strings and equal sign and then the answer? Kind of. Let's go ahead. It's not going to actually say the answer, though, is it? You tell me. That's what I meant. <laughs> I meant it was going to say the answer, isn't it? Yes, Kristen. That's I knew that's what, what you meant. Yes, I know. So Are now we hearing things? So now we have <laughs> 5 plus 55.63 equals 60.63. Oh, sweet. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the code again real fast. Go and pull this back up. And real fast, let's see what I did. First of all, I came in here and I said echo out. Inside of quotes, I said take this variable. Okay, so this right here got replaced by the data that's inside that variable. Now, I'm still inside quotes, so you've got to keep in mind PHP, the way it's dealing with this is just, this is just a symbol. It could care less. It's not an actual mathematical operator. Right. Okay? So it prints out a plus. Because it's in string. That's right, because it's in those quotes. And then I print out dollar my float, which, again, PHP goes, ah, okay, we've got a variable. Substitute with the data that's inside the variable. Space, an equal sign all. We just got another symbol. Echo it out space, 
We end the quotes. Now we jump back out of our little string world. We're going to concatenate. That's what my little dot is right here to the end of that. And now what I've got going on right here, got these parentheses. Anybody out there remember what parentheses are good for? Algebra. Order of order operations. of operations. Order of operation. When we see parentheses, PHP starts solving what's on the inner parentheses first and working its way out. Sounds good. And right now, so basically when it goes to actually execute this line, it goes, whoa, we've got these parentheses going on in here. Before I do anything else, I'm going to take care of this line right here. Is this line inside of quotes? No. 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 If it was inside of quotes, would it jump to it and handled it? No. No, it no because it, it would have just been symbols. It would have been like it was over there. Right, except you would have had it the, the little parentheses. parentheses. You got it, because they had just been symbols that would have been echoed out straight to the browser. But now in this case, we're not inside quotes right now. So we're getting the content that's inside this plus the content that's inside this. It's getting added together, and that's what replaces that whole section right there. And because of our periods, it gets concatenated to the end of this little section over here. And then to the end of that answer, we concatenate a new line. Wow. Right? Easy. I mean, is it? Yeah, for those of you out there that are completely new to this, remember this, the CD is for you guys. Yeah, it probably won't sound as easy to them. It doesn't sound as easy to you guys at first. Just oh. This It'll is, sink in. Yeah, this is something that's going to take playing. I'm not, I'm not wanting to get into variables any deeper than basically what I've done right here, and uh, and go in there and just you know rewatch this section, play with a few examples to kind of get a feel for how variables work. All right. Is this all this all good with everybody? Sounds good. It yep. Oh, yeah. for me. Do I now? Clear something up for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> so, um, so basically, a quick recap. We talked about variables in general having two major types. They are scalar and they are array. A scalar type variable is what we have covered here, variables that hold a single thing. One more thing. I guess I can throw this at you. Uh, we can do things like this as well. I can say dollar sign name equals dollar sign first name. Dot, add a space in there just like we did below. Dollar sign, uh, last name. Now I could take this entire area right here, and could I, or could I not, just simply simply substitute it with dollar name? You could. That work? Yep. Yep. Are you guys okay? Make sure everybody's sure. I'll save it and run it if you need to see the same thing again. But all we've done in this case right here is PHP is going to come in here. Take this side over here. It's going to take the information that's in here, concatenate a space to the end of that, and at the end of the space, it's going to concatenate whatever information is in stored in here. With all of that done, it's simply going to store that information into this variable right here. And then down here, we simply echo it out, concatenate it with a line break. Okay? So keep in mind that you can do that as well. This can also, instead of concatenation, this could also be some sort of operator. Plus, minus, division, multiplication. Just be careful. If you're holding stuff like this, what type again is this? String, right? Right. You're going to end up with a number like zero the moment you start trying to physically add or multiply strings together. Because okay. they're strings. They're not actual they're not numbers. Numbers, yes. Yeah, not numeric values. So, again, back on track. Talked about scalar. Talked about arrays, where we said scalar with single values. Arrays hold a list of values. We'll be covering those on the next VTM. From there, we took a look at our, our scalars. This also applies for arrays as, arrays as well. But that is variables hold, in general, three primary types of data. And that type of data is a string, an integer, and a float or double. Okay? Basically, alphanumeric characters and symbols, whole numbers, plus and minus, uh, and zero included, no decimals. That's an integer. And then we have decimals included, and that gets into floats and doubles. Okay? And we saw that PHP is smart enough to know the difference of actually doing mathematical operations with them or concatenating them together. And the way we went about doing that is by actually using a plus operator here, and then concatenation was handled through a period. Okay? And finally, I'll just throw one last thing out there just as a, in uh, my recap, mm -hmm. and that is we can also – do functions and the information that gets returned back from a function, like in this case right here, date, we can store it in a variable as well so that we can later do something with it, such as maybe add a date to that if we wanted to see what the today's date is, plus one or whatever. Okay? All right. So any questions? Pretty pretty straightforward? Yeah, yep. that was very straightforward. Okay. Anything I you want to add, it. Logan? No, nope, that covers it. Okay. So for, for the very first lesson on basic introduction of variables, this concludes this section. Thanks, guys.